They say bakers make the world smell better. It is for this reason that we traveled across town to meet Auntie Grace, a self-taught baker and founder at G Bakery, who was set to prove to us that cake calories don't count. Auntie Grace did not always see herself as a baker. She had an 8 to 5 job that consumed much of her time and at times caused her difficulty in meeting her clients' demands. My name is Grace Katwa, but sana sana najulikana kama Auntie Grace, Auntie Grace wa Makeki. Bimi ndio founder wa G Bakery. G Bakery ilianza 2020, acha niseme 2020 ndio ilianza officially. But 2019, I was to a kidogo for family and friends. So 2020, I was very serious because I was told that the cake was poor. Why did you say that you were a hustle? So I decided to decide that you were a side hustle. That time, I was a full time job, ya 8 to 5. So I was going to job, I was going to do it. Na hapo ndio ji bakery ilizaliwa na ikaendelea hadi tumefikia hapa. As an entrepreneur, having multiple streams of income is the secret to making more money. So when the opportunity arose, she grabbed it. Nilikuwa ngumu sana. At times inabidi hata kama ni orders inabidi nisichukue. Ju na imagine natoka job 5 na tunaelewa traffic ya huku. By the time I kwa nyumba ni around eight. Eight, mimi ni bibi ya mtu, majukumu, kufika. <laughs> Nikianza Diki, baking, namaliza almost midnight hapo. Ilikuwa ngumu, but sasa kustruggle, unajua vijana lazima to struggle, to sitegeme salary peke yake. Juwezi jua what next, especially vile what happened, tumeona. Tough situations don't last. It's the tough people that do. Seeing the enormous gap in the cake industry, she quit her job to pursue her passion. Neza sema ya ni my passion. Niko kona passion ya baking sana. So despite the fact niko kona job ya 8 to 5, but baking, ndo niko nikifei kama diyo my main work na fa kufanya. So, iyo January na Feb, nikianza, niliona business iko vizuri. Nika decide by the end of the year, mimi nita, nita resign, ni concentrate na my baking. Then, mambo ya corona nini, after tuli resume tena, miliona business imeshika, haiku ambaya vile. Zoa haiku wa vizuri, but nika nisha decide ku resign. So, nika resign, nikijua 2021, mambo ya takuwa sawa, na nifanya my full time job. Auntie Grace can bake all types of cakes and for all occasions. Today she will be preparing for us her signature cake, the chocolate main cake. Kama ni simple cake za birthday, unanipea to order a day in advance. But kama za wedding zile, lazima upea ni notice na mapema sana juu. Izo ziko na kazi nyingi na preparation mob. But birthdays nini? Kinipea order leo, kesho iko ready. Leo, tuta bake chocolate mint cake, ju e cake, neza sema ni my signature cake. Watu wengi sana wameoda chocolate mint cake from me. That's why ni meamua leo to bake chocolate mint cake. Huku ndo tunaanza. So, gato. Izi ndo ingredients zetu za leo, alafu pale ni kwa decorations. So, ingredients zetu za leo, kwa hii recipe natumia, kwa sababu recipes ni tofauti, tutatumia two eggs, half a cup oil, one cup milk, one cup warm water, 150 grams sugar, 
50 grams cocoa, uh, half a spoon peppermint essence, 300 grams flour. Hizo ndizo tutatumia kwa leo kwa hii cake. Hii ni baking tin ya 1 kg ni 8 inch but na prefer kutumia mbili to avoid kukata cake nikipaka cream una line your tin uta grease na margarine then uta line na parchment paper ndio cake yako isishike unapo inapo eva she explains you could not see only her attention to detail but also her mastery of the art of baking Advantage ya kutumia cooking oil kwa chocolate cake inasaidia inakuwa more dense vizuri. Tuna add maziwa 1 cup. After hapo uta add your warm water 1 cup. Na mix tu vizuri. Tuna add half a cup ya cooking oil. Na cooking oil yako usitumie ya ini kuna harufu kama olive oil unafaa kutumia ile ambayo haina harufu. Measurement kwa cake ni muhimu sana. Ju the moment uta fail ku measure your ingredients cake inaweza ku, ku, kukosa kuiva ndani. Unaweza labda upate umepitisha unga. Unga labda ni nyingi kuliko the wet ingredients ama wet ingredients ni mob kuliko unga keki inakosa kuiva vizuri na pia texture yake pia itakuwa sawa mm -hmm. so hapa na add peppermint essence half a spoon na changanya vizuri after hapo una add to the dry ingredients Easy lazima utumie hand mix. Oh. Okay. But kama uko na hand mix unaweza tumia Mata ama tumapia. stand mix but sio lazima. lazima. Changanya, make sure hakuna any lump. Make sure ni changanyika vizuri kabisa. Toe lumps zote. Okay, mix ya pia ukua tofauti. Kiona hii iko light. Mm -hmm. Lakini mixture zingine kama vanilla cake utapata iko a bit thick hey. kiasi heavy. Hey. Na sasa ina take the different time to weave hiyo light na thick. Hapana. Kuiva ikuwe light ikuwe thick time itakuwa tu the same. Kitu itamata ni temperature. Mm. So una heat in different temperature. Eh, na pia kama nilivyotangulia kusema mm. oven yako ndio ita determine mm. temperature kwa sababu kuna oven tofauti tofauti na temperature pia ni tofauti tofauti so sasa hii tutaweka kwa our tins ready for baking nitaweka kwa tins mbili na prefer ku bake kwa tins mbili inakusevia tu mambo nyingi za kukatakata nini rapunjika eh na keki itakuwa tu even vizuri Tigris preheats her oven at 180 degrees for 10 minutes Utagonga gonga mixture yako kutoa hewa bubbles ndio isikuwe na tu bubbles bubbles zikishaiva Sai, iko ready kwenda kwa oven. Our baking time ni 40 minutes. At 180 degrees. So, keki yako kendelea kubake, unakuja, una clean. Yombo liko unatumia, nazeka kano, ukijitarisha for decorations. The baking time is 40 minutes. During the wait, we tidy up the kitchen table as she explains to me how she made the material for decoration. Haikuji ikiwa hivi. Hii utanunua from 
the bakery shops sana sana ama kwa supermarket inakaa kama maziwa lakini si maziwa yetu ya kawaida ya kupika chai inakaa hivyo whipped cream mm -hmm. na inafaa ikuwe chilled alafu utatumia your hand mixer utabit hadi ikuwe fluffy mm -hmm. ndio utapata hivi after hapo ndio utaweka kama uko na different colors unataka kutumia kwa cake ama cake iko na theme colors utaweka hizo colors ukiendelea kufanya decoration zako hii cake tutafanya tu simple decoration na hii tunatumia dark chocolate compound chocolate unakata kata into pieces ama una create then una melt hiyo the same dark chocolate ndio nimetumia kutengeza hizi my small chocolate bars for my decorations na nimetumia chocolate molds zinakaa hivi This is the dark compound chocolate and you need melts to achieve all this and this is my chocolate mold yenye nimetumia chocolate iki melts unaweka hapo unaweka kwa freezer for like 5 minutes then utapata your mini chocolate bars then utatumia for decorations na kuna chocolate boots different types different designs ukitaka za letters unatumia tu time flies very fast and before we know it the 40 minutes are over It's now time to check if the cake is evenly baked and set down for final decorations. She first applies the whipped cream. We chat about some of the challenges that she's encountered in this line of business and how she's been able to mitigate them. Challenges when you never seven a pitia kwa wakati huu ni sometimes stima zinapotea na uko na cake hapo una una bake but at least siku hizi pia kuna advance kiasi kama mimi stima ikinipotelea niko na my friend who is also my neighbor ako na gas oven huwa na muomba na bake hapo na pia kama ni order si order kubwa kuna another method kutumia mawe tatu na keki inaiva vizuri sana. E, challenge nyingine ni kupata ya vitu za baking za pastry. Sehemu naishi si rahisi hakuna pastry shops nyingi. Inabidi either niende town e, Nairobi town huko CBD ama to the nearest town center ye iko hapa but hata hao sometimes hawana vitu zote zenye unahitaji then uses the preheat chocolate to make nice markings on the edges of the cake The cake design is now more visible. You can see the beauty of it as the craftsmanship is on point. She prepares to serve the cake for a taste. Sasa, hii cake mtu akitaka kupata venye iko tu hivyo hivyo. Eh, ni how much hivi? Keki tumetengeza leo ni 1600 only. 
lakini kila keki ama kila flavor ya keki kuna bei yake kulingana na design yenye client anataka kg zenye anataka but sana sana prices zangu zina range from 1600 kuendelea na pia bei ni za kuongea tunaweza ongea tukaelewana vizuri kwa hiyo mtu asikose kupiga simu na kutisha keki yake at first glance the cake is well done and when tasted it was very delicious was going for the third helping when it dawned on me that truly cake calories don't count setting up a business in this age requires a good social media presence she shares her social media handles g bakery mimi napatikana kwa mtandao unaweza nipata instagram at g bakery 2020 unaweza nipata pia facebook g bakery G Bakery inaandikwa utasearch tu G for God then double E pia unaweza nipata kwa namba yangu ya simu which is 0719390762 or 0737873991 pia niko katika maeneo ya Zambezi Kikuyu ukiwa hizi area unaweza nipata kwa urahisi sana na delivery nafanya all over